just wanted to make this quick video going over the overview and review of Oliver Carnegie 2, the series. It's finally finished the whole story of Oliver Carnegie. I'm so happy about it. I'm super excited. Um, let's get up, let's go over it. So in chapter one, we have Alexander, in which Oliver Carnegie meets a man named Alexander. And it doesn't exactly go as planned, although Oliver did learn an important skill that would be useful for him in the future. In chapter two, we have Olivia in Alveston, who is trying to figure out the security system in order to help Oliver. In chapter three, we have Oliver find this nearby camp, which ends up being a camp of accusers, and that kind of leads to him concluding he has to get back to Alveston. Chapter four is Oliver getting back to Alveston, Olivia helping him out into getting out to Alveston by shutting off all the security cameras, and Oliver getting in, and, uh, and yeah, we'll kind of go over some of the details of that a little bit later, but chapter five then includes getting out of Alveston and the final escape from the city. So that's the general overview. Um, I'll go over quickly some of my choices why I chose for certain things to happen. Um, my main idea going into this was I kind of wanted this to be a mix between like an action story and like a Wild West story. And you can kind of see some of those influences in different parts of the story. There are some parts where it's trying to be kind of Wild West, kind of cowboyish. But I also wanted, and one scene that I had in my mind was as Oliver Carnegie is getting into Alveston, he's kind of has he kind of has that kind of common action scene that was in my head, which is kind of kind of fast thing. So that was, that was two ideas that my I my head was also like trying to combine like some action stuff, kind of the cool kind of cool action stuff, and then. Also have some of the wild west stuff, and then um, so yeah, and then this is one thing. As I was writing through the story, um, I realized I need this. This is the end of the story. Things needed to actually have an end here, and so I was writing chapter four. I was like, oh, I need to figure out a way to end this story, and <laughs> pretty soon. Uh, but I think I was able to figure out well in chapter five, and everything was able to work out well. But that was one thing that that I did have to work through. And just as a side note, as you probably noticed, um, I started kind of being lagging behind, especially on the usual schedule. Phase three is, is, is the phase where I'm writing all these stories back to back, doing a lot of work. Um, I think it, it started being a little bit harder to get all that going and keep it going over months and months and months. I'm still going to try and I still was able to get that chapter out. I'm still going to try to get to the next story as soon as possible. Um, but, yeah. I was able to finally get it out, but it did take a little bit more time. But I'm really glad that I was able to finish the series and finish the whole story that started with the, the first story of Oliver Carnegie. But yeah, anyways, just wanted to go over it. You can expect more coming soon for phase three, more stories, more cool stuff. And yeah, see you later.